your ruler. Your lands, your possessions, your very life will gladly be given in tribute to me. What's up, guys? Um, apparently. Oh, sorry. Let me just angle this better. I gotta always re-angle the laptop in between uses. Okay. So apparently, um, The Rock got booed at the San Diego Comic Con, which, uh, when he was talking about Superman, which I don't understand why, because I watched the video when he was talking about Superman, um, on the Cosmic Wonders channel, and it didn't it didn't seem like he got booed. I didn't hear any boos, but maybe Cosmic Wonder edited edited that part out because he didn't want any controversy because he's kind of like corporate. But anyways, let's jump into this article and see if there's any valid validity. It's a hard word to say. I'm tongue tied. Validity to this. To this uh anyways let us scan Dwayne Johnson gets booed at Comic-Con over Superman response all right now if you watch that up uh, the video I put out the other day um he didn't I didn't hear no boos unless cosmic wonder edited it out or if it was a completely different uh discussion or questions being asked over the course of the dc expanded universe cinematic history henry cavill has always been one of the fans favorite heroes he first took off in man of steel back in 2013 then crossed over to batman vs superman and finally landed in Zack snyder's justice league however the actor hasn't been seen as the famous kryptonian since the recut of the 2017 film. Many have expressed disappointment at his absence. It's assumed that Warner Brothers has specifically taken actions to do away with Cavill's Clark Kent thanks to how badly Justice League did. If that's true, that really sucks. And Warner Brothers executives are absolute morons. Like, apparently, some of them are smart, and then the other ones are not smart, and they're like at war with each other. But there seems like there's some major self-sabotage going on at Warner Brothers, and it seems like it's purposeful a, a lot of the times. Um, this became even more apparent when Sasha Khalil was brought aboard as Supergirl in The Flash. Which, now we're probably never even going to see. <laughs> we're never even going to see Flashpoint, thanks to... Ezra Miller being an idiot. Um, recently, rumors. Oh, that really sucks too. Because Michael Keaton coming back as Batman would have been really iconic. But uh, anyways, recently rumors started to swirl that Cavill would be making a surprise appearance at San Diego Comic Con 2022 for some sort of announcement about his DC films future. Sadly, not only was this false, but Dwayne Johnson also shared a worrisome response to a fan's question when it comes to Superman's role in the future. We heard, I, I'm pretty sure I heard that clip the other day in the, in the video I did about uh, the Black Adam breakdown, the, the breakdown of the Black Adam trailer. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. I, I didn't hear no boos. At San Diego Comic-Con 2022, Black Adam star Dwayne Johnson was asked who would win in a fight. Superman or his title or character uh, The actor noted that the two would be pretty close pound for pound, but in the end it all it probably all depends on who is playing Superman That is kind of a worry worrisome response, but I wasn't too worried because I know they're friends I know Henry Cavill and the rock are friends so um, He was probably hinting towards it still being Henry uh, since Henry has been the most jacked Superman there ever has been. Henry Cavill is more jacked than Christopher Reeve, that's for sure. Um, this response was met by loud boos from the audience. Uh, 
I don't know if Cosmic Wonder cut that out, but I saw the clip and I didn't hear any boos. But it's possible Cosmic Wonder might have cut it out because he's like Disney corporate. Um, as specifically pointed out by Reddit user Dennis, <laughs> Dennis Bastard. <laughs> Dennis Bastard. <laughs> Den is Bastard or Dennis Bastard? Uh, this response clearly implies that Henry Cavill might not be playing Superman anymore in the future. The reaction can be heard in the video below. Um, screw it. We'll click on it. We'll we'll click on it. We'll make sure it's a it's a good link. Pro tip for you guys: whenever you're clicking on something, always look in the bottom left to verify the URL is actually what you think it is, so you're not getting taken anywhere else www.reddit.com slash r slash dc cinematic so okay it's safe all right we'll watch this and see if we can actually hear some booze the reddit video player always sucks so you got to give it a second we're also going to unmute it Who's playing superman i will just say that <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah that's the same as the video that i saw from the cosmic wonders um breakdown but it's there is a little bit of booze but it's mostly it's mostly like i don't know it's hard to tell because it's drowned out by people's just excitement like you hear a lot of it seems like there was booing and then people drowned it out with clapping or something. I don't know. Who's playing Superman? I will just say that. <laughs> Let's turn it up more. Only Superman. I will just say that. I'll leave it at that. I will. Yeah, because there's always the idiots whistling and clapping no matter what is said. There's all, you ever notice that in crowds? No matter what is said, there's always people either whistling or clapping. But anyways, it did sound like there was some booze. So I just didn't notice it the first time around. And it is possible Cosmic dampened it somehow in his video. Audio wizards. But anyways, yeah, there was some booze. I heard it. Another angle of the exchange can be seen thanks to comic books Brandon Davis on Twitter. Brand oh, so here's another angle of the video. Probably different audio too. Another angle of the exchange can be seen. Uh, Bl Black Adam versus Superman. Depends on who is playing Superman, he tweeted. And we'll play his version. That's a great question, Luke. Don't threaten me with a good time because I'm going to answer that question right now. I think, uh, well... I will say, as you guys know, because we're all in deep with this mythology, and it's been the age-old question of who would win a in a fight between Black Adam and Superman. Uh, pound for pound, they're pretty close. Um, I, I guess it probably all depends on who's playing Superman. I will just say that. <laughs> so I'll, 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 leave, I'll leave it at that. I will okay. leave it at that, and um, we'll just go with that one. I think you got some yeah, it did sound like there was some booze that got drowned out by some clapping and whistling. Um, yeah, I mean, so no one was booing. But here's the th here's the thing I don't like about this article: no one was booing the Rock. No one was booing the Rock. They were just booing the possibility that Henry Cavill was gone. That was they weren't booing the Rock himself. Anyways, at this point. Fans are all but begging for some kind of news when it comes to Cavill's role. Uh, anything will work. The world just needs closure. Yep, that's for sure. Because, like, disagree with me all you want, but I think Henry Cavill was a better Superman than any of the other Supermans. I think he was the best Superman. I honestly think that. I honestly think Henry Cavill was the best Superman. Better than Christopher Reeve. 
better than Dean Cain, better than Brandon Rouse, better than Tom Welling. There was just something about Henry Cavill's portrayal of Superman that was just seemed more spot on than anything we ever had before. Um, if Warner Brothers truly plans on not bringing him back at all, just announce it. Exactly. Just say it. Just say it. The thing is, like I said, I think they're in Civil War at Warner Brothers. So even they don't know. Even they don't know. And if, I th and if they decide not to bring him back, that would be the biggest mistake ever. Because honestly, they should just continue the Snyderverse and get their heads out of their asses. And they can't even decide to do that. They can't even decide to do that. I mean, heck, here's what I think. Go ahead and release Flashpoint with Ezra Miller in it, okay? Yes, it, it'll probably get bad press because of what Ezra, Ezra Miller did and the dude is a jackass. But still, you got a finished film. Don't waste money trying to do reshoots. Just put it out anyways. And also announce that you're going to continue the Snyderverse with Zack Snyder at the helm. Henry Cavill is coming back. Black Adam and Henry Cavill are going to be in the same universe. Quit being jackasses. Anyways, the rest of this article is just blah, 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 blah. But would it be a good idea? But would it be a good idea to let the actor... To let the actor go no probably not i agree no probably not it would not be a good idea his superman is a beloved adaptation of the character and many feel he was done injustice with the projects he was given there's also dwayne johnson's black adam to fight one day witnessing cavill versus the rock would be quite the spectacle that would be an awesome fight they would go really great together and they're already friends in real life and also i want to say um it was injustice. It was injustice. It was so it was so much messed up what they did. Okay, no one could predict that Zack Snyder's daughter was going to die. All right? No one knew that Zack Snyder's daughter was going to die, but Warner Brothers handled it in the worst possible way. Like they should have just waited. Instead, they were impatient and money hungry and greedy, and they said, "Oh, you know what? We'll just we'll just hurry up and rush Justice League along and we'll push it out anyways." And we'll do a, a couple reshoots and do a crappy CGI mustache. It was stupid. It was so dumb, dude. They should have just gave, gave Zack Snyder the time he needed and said, Hey, listen, we understand. Take some time. When you're ready, come back and finish shooting. Uh, we are, because instead they made it way more complicated. There's also, okay, if blah, blah, blah. If DC really does get rid of him, Marvel Studios should jump on the opportunity to recruit him for the MCU. I disagree. Uh, it would be kind of weird seeing Superman as a as an MCU character. That would just be too weird for me. I mean, I wouldn't be against it. Like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't shun it. Like, but. It, I would still see Superman. I wouldn't see the new character. I would see Superman. Um, the actor, which if he does a good job, I I don't know. I'm open to it, but it just I want him to be Superman. The actor could make a perfect Captain Britain. Oh, that sounds terrible. I disagree with you, uh, author of this article. I don't even know who Captain Britain is. And with the mutants just around the corner, there would be plenty of awesome opportunities for Cavill to take advantage of. Anyways. Hopefully I wasn't too long-winded covering this article. Uh, I, I disagree with the article title. This is kind of clickbaity. Um, Dwayne was not booed. It was just the news that he was delivering was booed a little bit. And so, yeah, this, uh, this article was kind of clickbaity. But I appreciate you guys for watching. And... I'll catch you guys in the next one and like and subscribe and all that stuff and a peace out guys.